Today we will discuss about the meter, methods for calculation of uh, uh, dose or doses. So, what is a dose? Dose is the quantity of uh, drug which is uh, enough. but not too much but not uh, too much to produce pharmacological to produce required pharmacological effects what is a uh, uh, dose the quantity of drug which is enough but not too much to produce required pharmacological effects is called dose and uh, the study of this dose and dosing uh, schedule is called posology dose calculations have been of prime importance uh, in clinical practice because uh, uh, dose may require adjustment according to the uh, sex of the patient according to the age of the patient according to the body weight of the patient because uh, uh, for different sexes uh, like male and female dose may be uh, different uh, and for different age people dose doses are different obviously because there are different uh, doses for a child ped and then for adults and then for um, geriatric patients according to body weight uh, dose is the most widely most commonly used nowadays method is a uh, body weight method uh, for high body weight more weight be uh, dose will be required as compared to low body weight uh, and route of administration uh, some routes are uh, like uh, IV route in which uh, there is 100% bioavailability so low dose will be required uh, while uh, some ro routes like oral routes in which bioavailability is low so higher doses will be required uh, and the time of administration also depend upon uh, time of administration two time of administration, three times of administration it also affect those in the presence of a disease for example if a drug is to be eliminated or metabolized in other way and excreted by the renal root and patient has a renal disease so dose will be reduced because this uh, if uh, standard dose is given to this patient uh, it may cause toxicity in this patient uh, similar cases that of uh, hepatic disease and hepatic uh, elimination if someone has hepatic uh, uh, disease and uh, drug is to be eliminated through hepatic, uh, hepatic uh, root then dose will be will be reduced according to condition then uh, there are uh, some other factors like uh, environmental factors genetic factors ethnicity factors and uh, emotional factor and there is a, another important uh, type uh, another important factor rather synergism or presence of uh, synergistic agent synergism mean uh, for example if uh, mm, two drugs are given at a time A and B if we represent the effects of A by 2 and uh, effects of B by 3 
it uh, should be 5 but rather than 5 it uh, comes to 6 or 7 such type of effects are called synergistic effects synergism uh, exists uh, in between many classes of drug for example in uh, septron DS or septron tablets the synergistic effect between the sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim then there is another uh, type of, of uh, these effects like, like additive effects For example, if two drugs A and B are given at a time, uh, and if we represent the effects of uh, uh, drug uh, A by 2 and effects of uh, drug B by 3, then there will be a net effect of uh, 5. Uh, then this uh, type of uh, addition, uh, this, these type of effects are called additive effects. For example, if um, we give benzodiazepines, and barbiturates at a time they will have additive effects and then the third one is a potentiation effect potentiation effect uh, what is potentiation effect potentiation effect all so in these cases those will have to be required uh, to be reduced a potentiation effects uh, mean for example if we do uh, give two drugs at a time a plus uh, b uh, if the effects alone effects of a is a uh, zero and the and the effect of b is a uh, three but uh, combine when these both are combined we get a uh, effect of uh, for this is called potentiation effect an example of this effect is a for example if we give benzodiazepines to alcoholic the effects will be sedative effects will be markedly increased so uh, then there is habituation and addiction uh, and antagonistic effects uh, when one drug opposes the effect of other drug for example if we um, give two drugs A plus B at a time the effects of A if these are uh, 2 and the effects of B are minus 2 so the resultant effect will be 0 this is uh, for example if we give a patient uh, two drugs which are, have different uh, or opposite effects uh. for example if benzodiazepine and another uh, drug like uh, amphetamine the argon which is, this is seen as depressant and this is uh, seen as stimulant uh, if these are given L at a time they will reduce the effect of each other so for achieving the desired effect we will have to increase the dose of uh, someone mm, one of them so what are the now what are the definite uh, formulas for the dose calculation how we will uh, memorize them the different formula for dose calculation can be memorized by the mnemonic FIC of these the first F stand for 
फ्राइड्स रूल एफ आल्सो इंडिकेट दैट एफ आल्सो इंडिकेट फेब्रुवरी फेब्रुवरी इज अ मंथ सो व्हाट विल बी फार्मूला फॉर फ्राइड रूल एज इन मंथ्स डिवाइड बाय 150 multiplied by average adult dose then uh, this y it comes for young's rule this y also shows us another important thing is called year and year has 12 months so what is the age in year this formula will be age in year divided by age plus 12 multiplied by average adult dose then there is another uh, mnemonic here huh? which is the c clark's rule is the most widely used method for the dose calculation it depends upon the uh, weight of the body a weight in a pounds pounds are libras lbs divided by 150 multiplied by average adult dose 1 pound is equal to 454 gram then the last one method but not the least which is the child dose calculation according to body surface area now what is this method body surface area in meter square divided by 1.7 3 meter square multiplied by average adult dose now uh, body surface this body surface area b is a it can be obtained from uh, the nomogram which is uh, available uh, in literature in which there is a uh, height column there is weight column and uh, by matching this column we get the bsa of the patient we can also obtain bsa from uh, another formula bsa will become equal to that is this, this bsa will be in meter square it will become equal to height uh, centimeter multiplied by weight in kg divided by 3600 under root for example if we have a patient uh, having 150 cm 165 cm uh, height and 65 kg weight uh, then what will be its bsa its bsa will be 1.73 uh, meter square so now we go to the practical practice problems for example if we have a patient uh, and it has a we have to give phenobarbital to a patient of 15 months another some practice problem first one method is a uh, uh, in first one practice problem we are having a usual uh, uh, we are having a problem that uh, usual um, adult uh, dose uh, of phenobarbital is a uh, fifteen milligram 
what is the dose for a child having age of 15 months what is the data given we have we are given this 15 milligram dose and uh, age and months so what is the age and months uh, our february formula our fried formula our fried rule that uh, child dose is equal to age and months divided by 150 multiplied by average adult dose what will be the child dose child dose will become equal to what is the age in month this is uh, 15 months divided by 150 multiplied by average adult dose 15 milligram so what we will get one point five milligram so the child dose will become equal to one point five gram now what is the other uh, question and other practice problem we are having the uh, usual adult dose of phenobarbital is fifteen milligram of phenobarbital is a fifteen milligram we have a child having age of eight years what will be the dose for this child So we are given this uh, 15 milligram average adult dose and 8 year of uh, age. Uh, so we are having age and year. So we will use the year formula or Young's formula or Young's rule according to this rule child dose will become equal to age and months uh, sorry age and years this is the year formula divide by year have 12 months age plus 12 divided by average adult dose what is the age in year age in year is 8 years divided by 8 plus 12 multiplied by 15 so you will get 6 milligram per day child dose and then we have another practice problem uh, according to this problem a child is having uh, we are given this data that uh, a child is having a weight of 10 kg and average adult dose is 500 milligram what will be the dose for this child So we are giving 10 kg of weight and 500 milligram of average adult dose. So we will convert this 10 kg first into pounds. 
because we have to use the Freud's rule according to Freud's rule child dose is equal to weight in pounds divided by 150 multiplied by average adult dose so what will be the weight in pound 10 kg as we know that 1 kg is equal to 2.2 pounds 10 kg will become equal to 10 multiplied by 2.2 are 22 pounds so according to Freud's rule child dose will become equal to 22 divided by 150 multiplied by what is the average total dose 500 so you will get 73.3 milligram of a dose. And the last method, which is the body surface area method, according to this method, what will be the child dose? Child dose will be equal to body surface area in millimeter in meter square divided by 1.73 meter square multiplied by average adult dose so if we have a rectus problem for a child having a height of 82 centimeter and weight of 18 kg what will be BSA in meter square it will become equal to 82 multiplied by 18 divided by 3600 under root so you will get 0 0.60 meter square of a BSA so if uh, the average adult dose for uh, this child is a uh, of some drug is a uh, 75 milligram if the average adult dose is 75 milligram what will be dose for uh, this child having a body surface area of 0 0.60 meter square so child dose will become equal to 0.60 divide by 1.73 multiplied by 75 milligram so we will get a body a child dose of 15 milligram thanks for watching